Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of The Theory of Stupidity, where we debunk the stupidest things people are strangely attracted to. In this video, I wanted to talk about the other end of the gender spectrum, the female side. Last time we talked about males and their issues with hairlines, now it's time to dig deep into the hardest thing for males to battle, which is the females' issues with themselves. Now it's a self-confidence issue, but it's something that just seems to deboggle my mind. I don't understand why it's so much worse than it should be. And that is basically the size of your ass. It's like females have this horrible addiction to continue looking at it like as if it would change. For example, I feel like a woman's butt is equivalent to my YouTube channel in the respect that we continue looking at it, other people look at it all the time, but we still need to look at it to make sure it's there and it's still doing its job. It's always going to be there, ladies. It's not going to change. We got to get over that fact. <laughs> the next thing on the list is... Well, one of my favorite things, what applications do asses really have? Well, I'll list a few right here. So basically, these are really the only things I could come up with. One, you can use a toilet seat for, you know, doing your business, which is really what your ass is for, right? Um, and the other one is digesting the food to do so. Now, the only thing that actually requires a certain butt size is probably doing what that guy's doing because, uh... That would probably be difficult with a, um, a small colon. And it's funny because you look at the difference between men and women in this situation, and you see two major things. A woman looks in the mirror and loses confidence. A man looks in the mirror and for some reason gains confidence. I took this image straight off the internet, and basically it automatically represents exactly what I'm trying to talk about. It's just... It's crazy how somebody can look at themselves in such a mean and sour way and then there's people who don't have half the things they think they have in the mirror but you know again that's what I'm talking here about ranting about the crazy things now don't get me wrong I am a fellow butt stare just as much as anybody is but the difference between a woman staring and a man staring is a man staring at what you have whether you've worked on it or not whether it's there or not they're always going to be looking in your direction. Now, on your end, you're going to be looking at yourself. You spend so much time looking at yourself, you forget that there's something around you. Not only that, but you try and tell yourself that you're not good enough that many times, and after a while, it's just going to get like, wow. If you are a female watching this and you don't agree with the things I'm saying, why don't you set a little counter for yourself? In a week, check how many times you do it. If you do it more than 10 times, you're an official butt staring addict. If not, congratulations, but uh, you probably don't have a mirror or whatever you need in order to see it. I don't know how you guys do that. Now this isn't a rant, like I said, to make fun of anybody or to put anybody down, but it is stupid how people are worrying about the craziest things when they should be worrying about much more important things. Trust me, I have a rant for everybody, and this is no different. If you guys are offended by anything or don't like the content I put out there, maybe seem like it's a little too much, I'm sorry, I'm just ta talking about the general aspect of everything. There are issues with everything, and people are always going to be offended. So, but do everybody a favor and just enjoy the video. I put it out there. I think it's funny. You guys should too. This clip was a little bit shorter than it'd usually be, but due to the circumstance that there's really not too much I can ask about it because, look, again, I'm a guy. I don't understand what it is. You know, maybe if it was on my realm, I could talk about it a little bit more, but... I don't, so this is all the information I had for it. If you guys have anything to add to it, feel free to tell me and I will uh, definitely understand for the next time out. And if you guys enjoyed another episode of the series, The Theory of Stupidity, please get us out there. Like, comment, subscribe, rate, share, whatever you want. Get us to be able to make some more stupidity videos and the theory of why they are stupid. I mean, it can only help, right? And ask yourself this, if you really are down in the dirt about it or you don't like the way it looks, just ask yourself this, would you want something the complete opposite extreme or would you want something that you don't already have? I mean, come on.
It doesn't really matter, does it? Without further ado, thank you everybody for watching. Thanks everybody for supporting this series. And keep smashing that like button so we can put out more of these. These take a little bit of research to do, but they're really fun because I don't have to put up too much editing or anything like that. It's all talking to you guys, and I love doing that. So... Without further ado, stay classy, ladies and gentlemen, and peace out.